Hello guys, how are you doing? Um, I'm actually doing another recommendation for one of you, uh, which is extra facts, extra knowledge about specification topics that are can be quite boring, you know, stuff that you won't be told at school, stuff that is brand new, stuff that is exciting, stuff that makes learning slightly less of a chore. The first topic is photosynthesis because it's one of those topics that is the most difficult. Photosynthesis and respiration, which is basically a very similar thing, it just goes the other way around. Photosynthesis starts with these guys and ends up with glucose. Respiration starts with this guy and ends up with the others. You know, is difficult, I find, because um, a lot of students doing biology, maybe they don't really do that much chemistry or maybe they don't really like chemistry. And photosynthesis and respiration at their core are just pure chemistry. So, it, you know, students find it very difficult to understand um, and let's start with something that I found out recently which I found really interesting which is to do with the first thing almost the definition of photosynthesis which is using light to getting energy from light how does that happen well the photon right so this is this goes to not even chemistry this goes into physics the photon right which is the light itself interacts in the leaves to trigger, to, to deliver this energy that is the first step in the cascade of reactions, in the light dependent reaction in photosynthesis. So how does this work? Well, they figured out that if the photon was simply a delimited uh, particle with, with, a, with certain boundaries, like a ball, it would take too long for it to reach the place where it needs to be to trigger these reactions. And the explanation actually seems to be quantum physics. It turns out that the photon doesn't know where it needs to go. It's actually in all places at all times and behaves more like a wave. So it's, it's sort of spreads itself across the area so that it doesn't need to be here or there it's, it's everywhere and that's why this process can happen so quickly now let's think more about the history of photosynthesis in the big scheme of things on planet earth um has photosynthesis always been happening i mean if you think about it there was no oxygen to begin with on earth so how long did it take for the first plants and everything that came after that to carry out enough photosynthesis that so much oxygen would be produced to actually become a big chunk of the whole air in the atmosphere. So going from nitrogen to 21% oxygen to actually change the makeup of the atmosphere so that oxygen would be a significant component and therefore trigger the evolution of all these different forms of animals including ourselves that rely primarily or solely on aerobic respiration that uses oxygen it has not always been the case that oxygen is just you know randomly this proportion of the atmosphere there was a time when there was no oxygen and the transition to the present day earth with its atmosphere is amazing amazing we couldn't have lived then let's end on a mythical note well uh, often when people talk about photosynthesis and its importance the fact that photosynthesis gives plants their themselves their own food and then they become the food for herbivores which then become the food for carnivores and they form the basis for all of life on earth you know um, they often say things like photosynthesis enables life on earth and I suppose that's true but not strictly true if there were no photosynthesis if there were no plants life would still exist on earth it would be a different form of life probably not us but life would still exist organisms that do not rely on plants and do not rely on their own photosynthesis and do not rely on aerobic respiration that is based on photosynthesis they are alive they have been alive and they're perfectly fine so um life would exist without photosynthesis so i think this video and the videos like this one will probably go in the playlist uh the froth of the top uh which is the bottom playlist um 
on my channel homepage, and the froth on the top is basically extra stuff that you need that you might need to to know extra stuff for getting more marks extra stuff for understanding more things and various other random videos that do not belong anywhere else if you've got a urgent recommendation for the next topic for the froth on the top um then smack it down there in the comments and i'll probably do it so yeah bye